So in this series, we're going to be looking at working with Amazon S3 and PHP to uh, do a few useful things that help within an application. Obviously, if you're already using Amazon S3, you'll know that it's a file storage service that allows you to store files on Amazon Web Services and then grab a link and allow users to download files with, uh, with that link. And this is basically useful for just keeping files away from your server and uh, by hosting them on S3, you're just allowing Amazon to handle them downloads rather than, like I said, keeping them on your server. So what we're going to be looking at in this series then is uploading files. So if you're allowing users to upload files and you don't want to store them locally, you can go ahead and just send them off to Amazon S3. And what you can then do is allow your users to download them files directly within your application. We're not going to be looking at storing anything in a database, but you probably would want to sort of persist the name of the object that's been uploaded. Then you can just show that to a user and allow them to download them files. And this is very useful for larger files where you don't want to just put that strain on your server. So we're also going to be looking at listing files, which is really useful. This could either be for you or if you want to list all files that have been uploaded, uh, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, the third thing that we're going to take a look at is tokenizing download links, which is really useful. Uh, and what this basically does is it allows you to append a token onto a download so users can't share that uh, link. So what you do is you set an expiry on that link and if a user gives that to someone else, eventually that uh, that download link will expire and then therefore other people won't be able to access it. So it's essentially a private file, a file that has um, no public access, but can only be accessed with a tokenized link. Now, number four, we're going to take a look at streaming video with S3. And we're going to set up CloudFront, which is part of AWS, if we just take a look at that here it's a content delivery web service so this is going to allow us to serve video files to users tokenizing it so again they can't give the link away and we can actually stream that within our browser so this is really useful uh, for if you're setting up video streaming and you want to serve your videos from amazon s3 so we're going to get everything set up in the next part inside of this application that we're going to be creating and then we'll look at how we can do each of these things